All right, hello, and welcome back once again to another opening, unboxing type video, I guess, but for today's video, again, it's something a little bit different, um, at least different to the channel, uh, not different to me, because I've been doing this for a while, I've been doing this for the past, like, three or four years, maybe, but it is uh, thrift store pickups, and... I usually go around and get toys and games and uh, stuffed animals and whatever else I can find. And I do sell it at like Comic Cons and toy shows and on eBay. Wow. And uh, I also collect some stuff for myself. So I figured I would start maybe recording some of these pickups, some of these finds, and uh, share them. At least share some of my highlights. Um, Maybe I'll end up cutting some stuff out. Things might seem a little mundane, but some of them might be really cool. Some of them might not care about. But here's a, one thing to start with is a Disney Pixar Planes puzzle. <laughs> XXL, 100 puzzle XXL, baby. Um, I mean, it's just a puzzle. It's just planes, but looks like it's all there and the thing about planes is it's kind of hard to find the stuff um, especially compared to cars so I usually pick up plane stuff when I do find it this is a random thing another game game of meme whatever you know nothing too spectacular there but it's super cheap so I picked it up all right, we also have a Finding Nemo game. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. This is all here except for like one of the stands that holds up the pieces. Um, what year is it? 2003, original Finding Nemo board game. And I think last board game for this time is uh, Gettysburg Civil War Battle Game, 125th Anniversary Edition. This is from, um, I think it was from the 80s, yeah, 88. And this is like all here, as far as I could tell. It also has, let's see, where are they? Like a bunch of pieces. Like, all the pieces are not even punched out of the cards. So that was a decent pickup. I mean, a board game that hasn't really even been used. Is... Here is one of my favorite things that I found. A little Stimpy. There's a new face in Hollywood today. It's fresh, it's redundant. Let's give him a warm welcome because his whole career depends on this next important message. Well, I've been... Oh, we're in the Stimpy. Uh, I think it's from Blind Mystery Box. I had to censor the butt cheeks. It's like a little one or two inch figure, two inch figure. Might have to keep that guy for myself. Alright, what else we got? So here, going back to Finding Nemo, we have a Mr. Ray uh, toy, I guess. It's got wheels on him. And a wheel in the room. There we go, picking up all the kids for school. Uh, a little bit scuffed up. Could probably get some of those scuffs out. Probably came from a playset or something. No year, but I'm sure that's from back in the day too. Next up we have a Star Wars, this is a Stormtrooper. Take over. Uh, rifle. Comes uh, with terrible aim, of course. Um, Star Tours is from Ooh, I don't even know. I was gonna say like Disney World or something, but 
some kind of Star Wars tour attraction. Um, so a year, nope. There you have it. Just make a nice little prop or a little cosplay piece, I guess. Talking about cars earlier, here is a semi truck from Cars. Can't think of his name. Uh, missing, the, missing the trailer, but I think I did pick that up somewhere else, so I might have him complete. Here's kind of an oddity. A little capsule corp Dragon Ball Z scooter, flying scooter. Um, no Dragon Ball Z figures to go with it, but a little capsule corp. This is from it's from 2000 something. Where it is you know, the dates way hidden in there? But it is 2001. Making some noise. Nice little pinball. Uh, let's say space race. Shilling 2006. Or like handheld pinball. I don't know what you want to call it, but still in pretty good shape. I picked this up. I didn't know exactly what it was. I just thought it was for the Switch, but this is for the Starlink battle like uh nintendo switch Star Fox thing i think you put the ship on there and i actually got the Star Fox thing recently the battle for atlas starlink game um so now i guess i have two of these pieces in case i ever need a replacement there it is next up we have a toy story zerg go Surrender, Buzz Lightyear. I have won. I'll never give in. You killed my father. No, Buzz. I am your father. No! Complete with a little sticker of Zerg right there. It goes all the way up to 11. I don't have any of the things it shoots, I don't think. I do have like a bag of Nerf stuff, so maybe it's mixed in there. Um... This is a pretty big old weapon. Let's see, it's 2010. Interestingly enough, I don't know, is that Toy Story 3? But Zerg was in Toy Story 2, so. We have Star Wars Build a Saber part. Comes with a little blade that pops out. Has some other parts that I can put this with. A lot of lightsabers that attach here. Here's another one that I had from a while ago. Probably can't see it too well, but you take all these pieces and you can change them and put them on. Put them out here and make your own lightsabers. Monster Jam. Scoop Guy. I don't know. We have a 1993 Mr. Freeze. I've always gone back and forth about maybe collecting these, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I do like Mr. Freeze. It's from the Batman animated series. I did watch that a little bit as a kid. Um, so that's maybe keep. And here's a Batman. This looks like a movie Batman. I don't know, maybe it's Val Kilmer. Can't remember the dates off the top of my head. This figure is from 92, though. Is that Val Kilmer or is it Michael Keaton? And we have a 2007 Donatello Ninja Turtle from the CGI 3D animated movie. Randomly a Superman Rock'em Sock'em guy. I didn't know that's what it was at first, but I guess I haven't probably came with a Batman or something. Batman or Superman, but don't have that. Maybe I'll find him some other time. We have like a Play School Optimus Prime. There he is. We have a mutating Ninja Turtle from like 2016 from that cartoon. It's Michelangelo. Um, I finally figured out how to mutate these things. I didn't before, but <laughs> they look so stupid. Like, what the hell? What is this? Like, these are really the legs, you know? Ah, whatever. The G.I. Joe Sigma 6 figure this is. 
I did watch that cartoon a little bit on the Fox Box back in the day, Saturday morning. It was like Firefly or somebody, Firebug. I think it's the fire guy. I don't think it's not Tunnel Rat, is it? I think it's I think it's the fire guy. I don't know. I'll put it up on the screen if I'm wrong, I guess. A Paw Patrol guys. Another Paw Patrol beanie. Like a handheld Simon game. Yeah, it's like a little Pokemon Marowak. I thought this was original at first because it's similar to the original one that I had, but it's like 2016. We got a Thor Disney Infinity figure. Yep, there's an Iron Man. Donatello Ninja Turtle keychain. This is John Smith from Pocahontas. The Hamburglar, everybody's favorite. The McDonald's toy. Big McDonald's, Burger King toys or whatever. Homer. A little dancing baby group. Some Incredibles. I have a Blossom. Powerpuff Girls. Sugar. Spice. And everything nice. These were the ingredients chosen to create the perfect little girl. But Professor Utonium accidentally added an extra ingredient to the concoction. Chemical X. Thus, the Powerpuff Girls were born! She was supposed to talk. I don't think it works anymore. I tried new batteries, but... Fortunately, it seems like she's not working. Also, I did get Bubbles, Powerpuff Girls. This one is says 1999 on it, I believe, or 2000, something like that. Um, that Blossom is from a different year, I think. The material on her dress is different. We also have Buttercup to go with this one, same year, same as Bubbles. Um, she's missing her leggings and her shoes, though. We also have a Hungry Caterpillar, Coles. Uh, stuffed animal. A, uh, now I'm gonna forget her name all of a sudden. Um, oh, what's her name? It's the, it's the little princess girl from A Bug's Life. She talks. And it does work. We need to find Flick and the circus bugs, okay? There you go. Find the circus bugs I'm and Flick. Princess, but you can call me Dot. Dot. That's right. There you go, Dot. Thing of nightmares. Little Teletubby, Tinky Winky. I do know that because my younger cousins used to watch us when we stayed. Our, uh, our grandma took care of us on like the weekends. That show, man. So weird. That era of kids' shows was just really weird. Speaking of kids' shows, we have the Tyrone Backyardigans. Um, my little sister used to watch this all the time and still to this day the theme song from the stupid show gets stuck in my head we have a super kermit oh, there it goes. we got a ernie from sesame street thrown in the pile we have a cat scratch guy um i don't know what his name is 2007 McDonald's cat scratch. Oh, here's Pablo from Backyard Games to go with Tyrone, too. This little propeller hat's kind of cut, though, but go with his buddy over there. A, I don't know if I can get this on screen. A big old squirtle. Um, it's like a straw filled, cheap one, though, but no, it's still squirtle. Got a minion. Who's this, Bob? I don't know. See you later, Bob. Uh, it was Max. Max from Secret Life of Pets. It's a large ah! one. We have a Yo Gabba Gabba, another kid's show. From what, like the mid 2000s or something? Mid to late. Um, Mark something has a lullaby or whatever. A little off key. Here's another cat scratch guy. Is this gonna keep singing over there? Going, we got a 
Frosty, Frosty the Snowman, Plush. Um, who was this guy? Mayor? I don't remember. Mayor, or is he like the bad guy? We have a little Shadow the Hedgehog from Sonic the Hedgehog fame. Can I hear that? No. Sonic Shadow. Let him peek out there. We have. I was kind of excited for this one. <laughs> we have a Zero from The Nightmare Before Christmas. It's like a Walgreens exclusive or something. Did still have the tag. So. If it still has a tag, that's a nice bonus. Plants vs. Zombies. Little guy. Little Bellsprout Pokemon looking guy. Does anybody remember this? Or am I just a boomer? Yeah, Lamb Chop. Uh, kind of forgotten about in the era of Mr. Rogers and all that. Do we really remember Lamb Chop? I do. But, um, don't think this had a year on it. Oh, it does. 1993. There you go. 1993 Lamb Chop. But, not only that, we'll put it there for now. We have Hush Puppy from Lamb Chop. Uh, and now I've forgotten his name. This horse guy. Crazy Pants horse guy. Um, I think he's a horse, right? But these two are harder to find. So I definitely had to take those. I saw the lamp shop first and then I saw those guys and I was like, wait, these look familiar too. And uh, so having all three of these together was a pretty great find. So last up until next week, we have VHS. Wow, ooh, I know you're just blown away by this. This amazing technology of times gone. Uh, Family Line Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is my favorite movie of all time. I just decided to take it. It was super cheap, so. Um, I don't have it. I don't have any of the VHSs. I do have a couple of the DVDs, so. I don't know, just something to throw on my bookshelf. Fill up some space. And then I also did get more VHS. We have Star Wars. Not a new hope, just straight up Star Wars. It's a Fox video. 1992. But we also have Empire Strikes Back. And Return of the Jedi. Figured since they were all there, all matching copies, I'd just take them. So I think there you have it for this week. Sometimes I find some really crazy stuff, kind of unbelievable. Sometimes it's just like, eh, not bad, not bad, not bad. So, until next week, until next thrift, Stimpy says goodbye. Goodbye.